Man. Yep. Same guy. Didn't start over. Kevin Love got me traded. I wasn't being a good teammate, apparently. And uh, he was upset, so he went to management. And uh, they want to give up on their franchise players. So it is what it is. I'm in uh, OKC nowadays. Just trying to make my way in the world today. You know, um, I want to say thank you to all of you guys that sent me private emails regarding Ouija boards. I really did not think that was going to be a topic I was really going to get feedback on. Um, I was just stating a, a f my three rules kind of in life of about what I do and what I don't do and what I believe in. I mean, for you guys that have been me from the conception of this, um, we all know that I believe in the paranormal. Um, it's starting to wane a little bit because uh, not on the ghost side, but Finding Bigfoot is just really starting to grind my gears. I mean, I've never seen a show where they get so close to finding something and they don't. It's really just starting to, ugh. I'm really just starting to believe that maybe it's not real. That maybe I should just, I'd be better off believing the little green men. Because, <sighs> they can't find Bigfoot. And I don't know what else. I don't know what else to say, but they can't find him. He's very, to, for being nine foot, he is very elusive. Um, I just saw something in the paper. This is just getting off on tangent for a little bit. But uh, it was regarding Seal and Heidi Klum. And I was just looking, and they're divorced now. And I was just like, man, he really outkicked his coverage then. Like, how did he land that? Like, Heidi Klum is old, but Heidi Klum is still, mm, you know? Like, mm, that'll get a laptop. But how did he get? He probably, he probably can sing. Really. Uh, I mean, he is a singer, so he probably, he probably serenaded her somehow. I don't know. It just fascinates me. And it all almost feels like I'm being shallow, but it's like, am I being shallow? Because when you first meet a young lady, or whatever your taste is, when you first meet that person, um, it's like. You don't know their personality. You know, you don't even know their name. You're just attracted to the way they look. So I'm not being shallow because that's the first thing that you're attracted to. And it's not like, um, you know, what I might find attractive, you're going to find attractive and vice versa. What you find attractive, I'm not going to find attractive. So, um, um, that ain't shallow. I don't think. Unless we're all shallow. Because I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a person go up to, quote unquote, we, what we would deem that's an unattractive lady or a person, whatever your taste may be, and be like, hey, you're not easy on the eyes, but I like you. I like you a lot. Uh, you probably wouldn't say that, though, because that'd probably just kill everything. Yeah, you're probably not saying that you're not easy on the eyes, so never mind. But hey, I mean, I'm just saying. But some people do end up with But I just really think he outkicked his coverage I shouldn't have went off on this tangent But I just wanted to say that Like he really outkicked his coverage on that Like Vinatieri style Just kicked the shit What else um, Anyway back to Yeah cause that Why did I even go on that I don't even make no sense I just It's Seal and Heidi Klum man Y'all seen Seal right Alright I mean, whatever. Teach his own. Let's get back to this Ouija board stuff. I mean, I appreciate the private emails you guys sent me. Like I was stating earlier, I really didn't think this was going to be a... Uh, something that was going to, like, open the floodgates. I got about seven or eight, like, personal emails telling me their stories about messing around with a Ouija board and things that happened afterwards. And uh, that's always been my fear. Oh, my God, I shouldn't have did that. And so, with that being said, I was uh, Googling, like, just trying to do some research on Ouija boards and stuff like that. And I can't believe that the Parker Brothers makes them. They make Monopoly. They make Monopoly, son. Like, how can you make something 
demon possession coming from the Parker brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got Boardwalk and Park Place. It's the Parker brothers. I don't know. I don't know. And that's not, I'm not trying to be light, but I'm just like, you don't expect something that's supposed to be a family, a family game almost to be something to communicate with evil. I don't know. It's just strange. In one of those, like in one of those, like in one of those Wicca shops or Wiccan shops. If you're Wiccan and you like me, I don't, I don't mean that uh, in a bad way. I mean, I'm just saying, because I, 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 I know I've read somewhere all witches ain't bad or something like that. Like there are good witches and then there are bad witches. So they're not finding the Ouija board in the good witch shop. We're strictly talking about the bad witch shop. They like to sacrifice cats and stuff like that. All right, that's what we're. That's all we're referring to. Um, some of the stories, I'm not gonna tell people because if they wanted to share them, they could have shared some up the tidbits in the, in the in the in the, in the uh, comment section. But some of them were disturbing. Some of them were like, what? I mean. I almost wish, I almost wish I could, because the stories that I got, I almost wish, like, I almost wish, oh, man, I should do that. Somebody's probably going to do it already, though. I should come up with a podcast about, like, ghostly and unnatural, super, supernatural experience. Yeah, I should do that. I'm going to see, I'm going to, this is going to be my first, this is going to be my first roll call right here. If you have a story that you would like to share, we're gonna find a way to make uh, we're gonna find a way to make this happen. Story has to be under fifteen minutes, so you're gonna have to condense it. We're gonna have to condense it. Probably about the first ten minutes, I'm gonna need like you know the story, and then I want five minutes to ask you questions. Or we can probably break it down into two segments. But I'm being serious here. I'm gonna try to come up with. We're gonna try to come up with. A, some kind of segment where we can do ghost stories or demon stories or something like that. I'm going to see how it works. If I get enough feedback on it, I'll try to do it. Or if you guys think it's a good idea, we'll try to do it. Because, like I said, the stories that they sent me in the e in the email was like, I was like, what the hell? Like, I'm not judging nobody, but I'm just, I'm just saying, like, what did you think was going to happen? Almost. And... You know, I guess in hindsight, you know, it's always 2020, but it's, like I said, I saw the Ouija board. I saw what they were doing. And yes, she was hot, who I was trying to talk to. Yes, she was really hot. And I blew it right there. I blew it. Because um, I wasn't going to tell her I was scared of a Ouija board. You know what I'm saying? What that look like? I mean, you know, yeah, I'm scared of a Ouija board, so that's why I didn't stay to uh, rap with you. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -mm. I was just, I blew it. I just told her, you know, I didn't think it was right for, you know, us. And I liked somebody else. I, to be honest, I forget what I told her. Um, I know it wasn't the truth. That's all I'm gonna say. I know it wasn't the truth. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna be like, yeah, I saw y'all playing with a Ouija board, and I got scared as hell, and I was leaving. Yep. Don't know what was gonna go down, but I was getting the hell up out of there. Yes, sir. So, yeah, I wasn't telling her the truth. But that's not, <laughs> it's neither here nor there. What I'm trying to say is I want you guys to contact me because I think we should, because I want to ask some questions. I want to ask some questions. And that's probably going to be the close to, closest to ghost hunting that I'm going to get because my show would consist of some a loud noise and me just getting the hell out of there. I'd rather go back to a rack. I'd rather go back to Iraq any given day than have to stay in a haunted house. Yes, sir. Sign me up again. Mm -hmm. Sign me up again. I don't care. I'd rather go back to Iraq or Afghanistan than stay have to stay in a haunted house by myself. Not doing it. Mm -mm. Not doing So if this is something you guys want to do or something someone feels that they want to share, Email me or leave something in the comment section, some way for me to get in touch with you 
so we can set this up because I think it'd be really interesting to tell your story if you feel like sharing it because like I said I don't feel that I have I don't feel I have the right you send it to me in a private email and I don't feel that I have the personal right to divulge your information um, from what you went through and it's like I said reading some of the information I just thought it was very fascinating and interesting and uh, you know why you did it where you were in your life at that time and you know things of that nature so if there's something you want to do or you think you guys think it's something we can do uh get back with me if not we'll just keep hearing me do commentaries and going off tangents all the time talking about silly stuff that i shouldn't be talking about like out kicking your coverage this whole commentary is supposed to be about the ouija boy and you guys us trying to do something and i'm talking about seal and heidi Klum and how he out kicked his coverage Yep. <laughs> That's what happens when you talk to yourself. As long as you don't answer yourself, you're good. And I read that somewhere, I heard it somewhere. But any anyway, back on the seal and Heidi Klum. Like I said, if you think it's something we could do, let's do it. Because I think it'd be neat to share. And people that have questions can ask. Because it's like I said, I've never been one that wanted to play around with a Ouija board. They just look creepy. They look creepy. And no. I'll get those answers when my expiration comes. You know what I'm saying? That's when I'll get um, all the good stuff. I don't need to know right now. I'm fine with not knowing at this point in my life. I am really fine. So, but, uh, yeah. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be awesome. Is anybody doing that on YouTube right now? Is anybody talking about ghost stories? Interviewing people? This could be my new, my new gig, an interviewer of ghost stories and people that believe, like the new X Files or something. Hmm. I need to make this happen. Y'all gotta help me make this happen. I don't think nobody's doing that right now. Nope. It'll be the Black Taps. Probably not. Can't probably say that. I hope I don't, they don't sue me. I ain't got nothing to get sued for. But anyway, uh, like I always say. If you don't sub, at least like. If you don't like, at least share. I will holler. 